Hey there! I think customizing the cursor can make your coding experience more enjoyable and efficient. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the cursor in VS Code. We'll be changing the cursor in both the editor and the terminal. So, let's get started. Let's start off by changing the color of the cursor. Press Ctrl Shift P, type settings.json and I'm going to open the current profile settings JSON. Now search for workbench.color customizations, which is this object right here. And if you don't have this object, you can go ahead and create one from scratch. Now let's add a color for the cursor on the editor. So that would be editor cursor dot foreground and I'm going with uh, the color teal that I'm using on my website. So if I'm getting the code right, it is this one. Press save and as you can see, the color has been changed to the one that I have here, which is teal. All right, awesome. Uh, now let's change uh, the cursor on the editor. Right now is a orange yellowish one. So similar to um, editor cursor, here we have terminal cursor. I'm going with the same color. And as you can see, here we have our new color. Now let's go ahead and change the style and the animation of the cursor. Press Ctrl comma to open the settings or go to File, Preferences and Settings. I'm just gonna move this here on the right side. All right, so we can see it better. And here on search settings bar type cursor style and here we have a bunch of settings let's take them one by one i'm gonna zoom in so you can see the cursor better let's start off with blinking so as you can see now the cursor blinks once a second but if we want to change it let's go with a solid one it doesn't blink anymore so smooth it blinks Mm, smoothly, <laughs> like they say here. Um, phase looks like this, like it's phasing. And expand, it's wobbling a bit. Right, so this is for the cursor blinking. I'm just going to leave it as default. Now let's go to cursor style. So by default, we have line. This is block similar to what we have on the terminal side. Let's go with underline now. Pretty Unix style. Now line thin. Block outline. Underline thin. And these are pretty much all the options we have for the style of the cursor. Now let's move on to the terminal side. Here we have only style and not animation. So we have only three options. Block, which is by default, the one here. Line, similar to what we have on the editor. And last but not least, we have underline. So it looks like this. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.